Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Senator TV video production program. I'm Lucas Salzenbaugh. And I'm Joshua Wright. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The St. Mary's County Local YMCA Exploratory Committee convened last week for its fourth meeting, where it chose a Nicolette Park site as the third potential location for Community Center in Lexington Park. During previous meetings, the committee had designated property near the Great Mill Swimming Pool and at Shangri-La Drive near the Lexington Park Library as prospective locations to be included in a feasibility study for the center. Heavenly Peace, a nonprofit organization that makes beds for children, rallied 30 volunteers to help build beds in Lexington Park. The volunteers sawed, drilled, and sanded wood to make the frames and headboards of beds on Saturday. Debbie Fowler, the local chapter's co-president, recently brought the initiative to St. Mary's when she saw the national director speak a segment of Good Morning America. As temperatures drop, people are homeless hope to get out of the cold and into the warm. That's why volunteers of WARM organized a network of places to give shelter for those without. WARM stands for Wrapping Arms Around Many and was founded in 2009 and works with volunteers to provide shelter space, transportation, and meals for those without a home. At a recent survey of the homeless population, it was seen that WARM provides shelter for some two dozen homeless people. Most of WARM is made of volunteers, however, the organization is currently receiving support in the form of transportation vans and gas from the county government. Great Mills boys basketball team denied Huntingtown's comeback attempts to pick up another win. Entering Wednesday night's Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Chesapeake Division at Great Mills High School, the Hurricanes of Huntingtown and the Hornets of Great Mills both held undefeated records in the division, so something had to give. The Hurricanes entered the Battle of the Unbeatens in the smack Chesapeake Division, having won their last two games by a combined five points. But after eight minutes of play on Wednesday night, the visitors found themselves trailing 22-7. The Braves wrestling team were able to defeat Calvert by a final score of 65-12 on Tuesday night in a Southern Maryland Athletic Conference match. Calvert Wrestling has had a hard year though. Injuries and low numbers of signups forced the team to forfeit six matches. Cavaliers head coach Matt Bancroft had this to say, Chopticon did a great job. Hopefully we can get some numbers up by next year. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Salzenbaugh. And I'm Joshua Wright. Signing off.